Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to go back and look at the front plug in an engine. You know, it's up there. We don't really worry about it unless it's leaking and we have oil being slung out. But that plug, when you look behind it, you might be a little surprised at what you find on the other side. And we're going to go with just such an example, uh, thanks to Glenn Norrie and Dawson um, in New England. They sent us a video of them doing just that on their airplane. And I think you're going to find that when you look behind that plug on the engine, you'll be wanting to keep your engine a lot cleaner. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's have some fun and take a look. Hmm. So, we would like to ask you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Okay, so let's take a look at the plug on this specific engine. Uh, narration will be by Glenn Norrie. Please enjoy. All right, I think today is, uh, I think today is March... Ten, nine, nine. So anyway, this is uh, Dawson's motor, light combing. We've got it flipped upside down to kind of pickle it, meaning put some oil in it so it's it um, doesn't rust and stuff while we wait to sandblast it and put it back on. So it's upside down. This is the down here is the crankshaft, and this is the exhaust and air intakes here um, for each cylinder and four cylinders. But what was interesting is Paul had me, well, actually ended up doing it, there's a plug that goes in right here on the crankshaft. This is the crankshaft, it's a hollow crankshaft. So there's a plug, he had me drive out, or he drove it out, here it is. Okay, the error was when I took the prop off, I knew the line that also not to worry. But what was, what was interesting is the crankshaft works as a centrifuge. So there was, he said, you got to clean that out, and I'm going to mean. So that was filled with old oil sludged, and I'll show you what I've taken out of that. And this is it right here. And all of that solid oil came out of that core of that crankshaft and I'm using aviation gas here blue, to just rinse it all out but this is amazing what came out of that 50 years so anyway that was a uh, really enlightening something I didn't know about so I'm always learning here with Paul here at Montemore so anyway hope you enjoyed this Here's another um, shot of this. The reason why we started doing this is the inside of this crankshaft where the main uh, crankshaft seal and then there's a bearing, that was all rusted. Still a little more we got to get off. But Paul has seen crankshafts get rejected because of rust. So he said we needed to clean this up treat it with zinc chromate, get some paint on it so it doesn't rust anymore. So Leo, my friend Leo's here, this is the back of the where the prop bolts to. So we're cleaning this all up, we're going to zinc chromate it, clean the face, get this rust off, zinc, you know, prime it and put some paint on it. I just bought sandblasting material today, so we'll be sandblasting this whole engine down eventually and painting it like home and gray. But this is the up inside the the crankshaft that I was telling you about. You see, like that's a little loose plate there, sludge. But that's was packed with that old oil. And I just been cleaning that out. So anyway, that's where we're at on this plumbing project. Uh, over here to my left is actually the plane. Brought it into Mulberry today on my snowmobile trailer. Dawson's dad, Tom, helped me get it on. And actually, I'm uh, going to use the lifting hoist instead, I think, building uh, saw horses. And we're going to get the gear off it and pull the strut out and then put the whole fuselage onto this rolling bench over here behind the engine hoist as a rolling bench. So, anyway. So, working on the, the grommet again feels good. So, um, okay. 
So here's the finished product after cleaning up behind the flange and you can see he's primed it and he's got a good coat of Lycoming gray on it. Looks a lot better than it did before. And now let's take a look at the front plug and it's going to be nice and shiny on that nice new painted front flange. So ladies and gentlemen, it is a job that you can do. You can make your airplane look a lot better and you'll know a lot more about it. And also too, here's Dawson back when he was at the Southern Gathering. He was having fun in my spare wheelchair. So ladies and gentlemen, we hope you found all this useful and informative about your front plug. Probably more than you ever wanted to know. But glad you watched it. Hope you found it useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching again and have a great day flying your Grumman. Well, let me apologize for the lighting because a lot of times I don't have time to go turn on a light when I want to film them playing with paper on the floor or wrestling with each other. A lot of times it happens in the wee hours of the night and I just can't throw enough light on there. So please accept my apology and enjoy their antics and their fun. Thank you.